Guys, we are here with the TIE Punisher. Yet another way of making the TIE Fighter look even cooler than you thought it could. This is the, crazy. The Imperials, first, so we're back from JinCon 2015. Hopefully you guys uh, saw our Houndstooth unboxing that we did there, as well as a bunch of other stuff. Um, and now we're back and we're recording uh, the rest of these unboxings. Here we are. You're watching that, here we are. You're right now. So, first of all, thanks, because your, uh, your support allows us to go to Gen Con and unbox stuff and get excited and, and caffeinate and, and go nuts. So uh, that's because you guys, and we really do appreciate it. And now we're back and we're gonna do the, the TIE Punisher, which has these new cluster bombs. It's got apparently a, a very interesting dial. It, I mean, it looks crazy. Have you seen this thing? It looks insane. You ready? Shall we kick it off? Let's start let's, with the dial. Let's, start, let's, let's start, start with the dial. Let's see what it does. TIE Punisher. Do this right. The old TIE Punisher. Uh, uh, uh. There we go. All right, so let's run this down in the way that I like to run it down. Let's look at the ones. We have a forward, two Start banks, okay. green. Not not terribly impressed. I'm always looking for the one turn, and this, this <laughs> yeah. doesn't have it. I'm incredible As I maneuver. mentioned in the Kurax Fighter uh, unboxing, it's a good way to be bad at X-Wing. Uh, we also have the, <laughs> <laughs> which is particularly interesting for yeah, me. I'm picturing like a marketing campaign for the one turn. <laughs> like, the best way to be bad at X-Wing and okay at the and game. And okay at the game. Uh, we have the twos. We got a straightforward green, which is as you might expect. Two banks are white and then two turns are red. And that is always a bummer for me, honestly. It does not like turning. I always want to two turn and I'm always just stuck in the red. Uh, we have threes are all white and the full spread of them. So no problem except no K turn. Then a four K turn. Yep. So this is good. I mean, without the K turn, it would be it would be interesting. Uh, but given the four K turn, I think it's fine. That's good. That's Any, what we want. Anytime you're most pr like turning at a short range is red. You need a K turn. You need a K turn. <laughs> Sometimes you just you just need to get back in the game, yep. as it were. Yeah. Uh, so let's another great way of being back. <laughs> another great way. Let's look at the uh, let's look at the first the first model here. Let's look at run down the stats of this card. Oh baby. We have the Cutlass Squadron pilot. This is a twenty one point ship, which is pretty reasonable. It's reasonable. Uh, two pilot skill, just not knowing what it does, it seems reasonable. <laughs> it seems great. That's a number. Uh, two pilot skill, two attack, one evade, six hull, and three shield. That's Okay. No, I mean, nine nine total uh, shield health. That's pretty tough. Two attack is not great. Mm -mm. One defense, one agility, not great. Not by great any at stretch all. of the imagination. Not great at all. No. So it reminds me of the bomber who also doesn't defend very well and well, just kind of dies. Let me roll this on you though. It's got the standard uh, focus and target lock, but it has a boost native, which I think is really good. I think that's really cool and really good. Uh, boost is it's the now most more. critical <laughs> action in the universe. Yeah, yeah. By the way, I mean there are moments where a boost is literally five range one attacks against you or zero. Yeah, and uh, I prefer zero. <laughs> I prefer zero. You heard it here first. We also have a bunch of upgrades on this guy. We've got a systems upgrade. We've got two proton upgrades. We've got two missile upgrades. We got two bomber upgrades. Whoa. Yeah. So he can be anything to anybody. Now, now the. The weird thing for me with ships like this are you're not going to load them up with two bombs, two missiles, and two protons. You're asking for trouble if you do that. That's just, Zach, that's not what you do. You don't do it, okay? Like I mean, if you ships, have extra munitions, though, most, like, come most, on, you can just bomb, 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 bomb. You get, bomb, one, bomb, you bomb, get bomb. like maybe two to three off a game, and like, see, you're not going to load this guy up with those things. Now, some of the stuff where you sacrifice a slot to get better bombs, like with the munitions stuff, that makes a lot of sense. Uh, so you're basically kind of going to build him, I think, as a missile or as a bomber. I just don't think you do both. Let, let me let me pitch something to you. Pitch it. <laughs> let me pitch something to you. Pitch it to them too. Yeah. Uh, okay. So extra munitions is an upgrade we saw in one of the other packs, yeah. and I believe will come in this pack where basically all your missiles and bombs and torpedoes get a token, and you can spend the token instead of discarding them. Right. Point, so right? you get two uses. Yeah. So this guy is rolling two attacks. Not so fancy, but. The thing about this is that a lot of the times dropping the bombs is an action. Right. And then the missiles is an attack. Oh, no. So, actually, I, I don't think you need to go to the, to the nines on this. Like, yeah, because really you, you could make them like 50 points and he just explodes. <laughs> it's true. It happens. <laughs> but, uh, like, it is like, so if you're running two torpedoes that you can use twice, you're actually going to get four uh, fancy attacks that aren't just your two attack, right? Uh, so I could easily see. I don't. I don't think you would run two, two, and two. Right. Because uh, then it would literally. I mean, that'd be funny to see. I, I mean, is it, so this is the idea of the Punisher, though, right? It's just like you're just strapping things to it <laughs> and then just shooting bomb. it. I think that's what's in all these silos here. It's just like it's just stuff. It's mm -hmm. what do you, you never know. Is it bombs? Is it missiles? Is it whatever? 
So yeah, I, I think you'll probably see like three to four of those slots filled and then a systems upgrade. How, this is theoretical here, but how crazy would it be if the bombs and the missiles and the torpedoes were face down until you use them? Oh man, that, would, change the, have on that would really change the game. <laughs> but it's like, can I, we do that? Can Davey do that? I don't know. I just thought about it. It's like, how would I know you have a Conanet? It's like, I don't know that until it's on yeah, my face. I mean, I guess that's true in everything, though. Like, I don't know you have a recon specialist on your thing or that that's you true. have a fire control system. So but it just, that know. would fundamentally change the game of X-Wing. But it would Imagine be really... if there was an ordinance upgrade for one point. It was like, all your ordinance cards are face down until used. That would be really cool. I'm just saying. That would be really cool. Not to, not to dive I mean, into no. that. So there's the right. cutlass. This is a base model. This is the one you're driving off the line. It's not... 1989. It's not fancy. Uh, then we have, for two more points, we go up to four pilot skill, Okay. and as far as I can tell, that's it. That's it. That's really it. So if four pilot skill matters for two points. You may, let me tell you what really matters, though. <laughs> uh, and actually, relationships? Don't, relationships Humans? Do matter. Don't, uh, don't, don't, don't read this card yet, because i got to tell you what matters about this card. You tell you put Death Rain on the thing, and you tell me not to read it? Yeah, don't read Death Rain. <laughs> He's right there. Uh, what matters is the flavor of this card. Really? Darth Vader's handpicked Black 8 Squadron earned its reputation for ruthlessness when its bombardment of Kallus rendered the planet uninhabitable. Okay. It's all Fair enough. So if you're bombing Kallus, then If you want you people take to die. But like, and we talk about this in these videos all the time, and we just kind of reveal our incompetence at X-Wing, but like, the, or at least I do, the, the pilot skill thing is just like, I, paying two for a four over a, a two pilot skill, like, you have to nail the meta to make that worth it. You have you know to know what what's I mean? going on. You yeah. really have to, yeah, yeah. to know. Anyway, if it was one point, maybe, but two. Death Rain, let's talk about it. Six pilot skill. Everything else is the same. All the upgrade slots are the same. All the actions are the same, okay. as you might expect. When dropping a bomb, you may use the front guides of your ship, period. Okay. I, I was waiting for more. After dropping a bomb, Dude. you may perform a free barrel roll action. That's real cool. Okay, I don't know if it's good, but it's really cool. <laughs> like, it's exactly what I want out of the game of X-Wing, right? You just throw the bomb up, you, you barrel roll out. Like, that, that's theme. Like, that's, that's just... Yeah, I, mean, this I is, know you guys aren't exactly looking for what's cool. You didn't watch this unboxing to say, hey, I mean, tell me what's cool. It's part it's of it, though, right? Bit. Like, it's, it's not... It's, maybe it's good, maybe it's It is it's part not. of it. You know what? It is part of it. It is 100% part of it. It like, is part of it. It's when you do something that feels so awesome like yeah. that like i'm just picturing you have this guy right and it's like oh Connernet. and then uh i'm gonna hop over here yeah, and then i'm gonna go right here. here and you know honestly like from just a practical good standpoint i think having that versatility of bombs being either direction is actually very powerful because now your opponents can't they I mean, can't be on either side right and that's a problem and more importantly than anything is just the pre-boost right like i'm dropping a bomb that might do something yeah that's fine but what I'm really doing is boosting before I go. So it's like, hey, asteroid, I'm here. I'm going to drop a bomb, and then I'm going to move. And it's like, you better not hit that asteroid right now. You can't. But really, to me, it's just the maneuverability. 100%. Being yep. able to boost uh, is really... It turns any bomb into a free barrel roll before right. attack. Right? Like, right. picture any of them, right? Right. It's two cost, right? Choose any bomb you want. Yeah. And it's like... It doesn't matter what it does. Would yeah. you pay two points for an emergency barrel roll? Emergency barrel roll is basically what that is sometimes. Maybe, yeah. especially if you're running the munitions thing, and it's like, oh, well, there's just got the token, and like, barrel roll. Yeah, just barrel roll like, around. That could be that, that could be huge. That could be. So, yeah, I like it. It's very, uh, it has a lot of uses. It's utility. And then it also, I mean, I think you're going to land a lot more bombs this way. Yeah, and I think, I, I can just picture this being developed, and it's like, hey, let's have a guy that has bombs out the front. <laughs> it's and it's like, like, whoops. It's like, okay, that's, that's really cool, but like, it's not good all the time. And it, it's just hit and miss. And then they're like, how about we had a barrel roll? Yeah, it's and like, then it's like, oh, well, that's theme. That's flavor. That's, that's Nailed good. it. All right. So I think, I think Death Rain's good, man. I He's think that's pretty cool. cool. Finally, let's talk about Redline. Oh man, he's Not torpedoing cool uh, X-wing. Right? But so this could be a torpedo ship. A seven uh, pilot skill, twenty-seven points. Everything else is the same. You may maintain two target locks on the same ship. When you acquire a target lock, you may acquire a second lock on that same ship. So basically, whenever you target lock a ship, you target lock it twice. Yep. Which means it's awfully easy to shoot missiles and stuff <laughs> at that ship. Lots of missiles. Right, because like on the one hand, it's if I have to discard my target lock to do the attack, I still have a target lock to modify the attack results. Yeah. Right? So that's like, my yeah. missiles are way better. You and also then, have the target lock carrying over. Right. So that you have it again for next turn, so that maybe next turn you can take an action instead. Right. Um, I, li I like the built-in, like you can have two, which is cool, but then giving you two when you target lock yeah. on something, 
This is all, so, so spoiler alert, I guess, the TIE Punisher really is, this ship is designed for exactly what its upgrades have. It's, it's supposed to be shooting stuff and dropping bombs. Like, it's not doing anything else. That's why the two attack doesn't matter at all. Yeah. Like, it should never be attacking. Uh, am I right? Am, am I yeah, that's fair? what I'm saying. It's like, am, is that fair? It's, it is fair. Is that fair? I, it, it attacks if it has to. Right. But I think, and that's why I think running the, like, two really two different really good missiles that have, like, edge cases, right, where it's like, this is good against a swarm, and this is good against a big ship, right? Or this is, like, whatever the two most practical things are with a munitions upgrade to get two shots on each means that you're kind of ready to go. Yeah, so you just have to make sure this guy does not die. I mean, yeah. that's really, and that, that's kind of always the problem with these, these <laughs> kinds of ships, where it's like, you gotta get in there and shoot stuff, but you also gotta be safe. And I, But I think 3-6 is, is reasonable. You should get a couple of shots off for yeah, sure. Absolutely. And if they're going after wrong. this guy, then? Well, it is 27 points. That's only a third that's about a third of your right. force. <laughs> Ooh. Well, let's move on to the uh, upgrades. All right. Let's see what we got. So I Let's love see what we're working with. It, so this is an old upgrade, which I'll let you read really quick. It's Enhanced scopes. I love this one because I was just, I literally, I just realized that I knew nothing about X-Wing when I read this, and I was like, why would anybody do this? But there are reasons. Enhanced scopes. During the activation phase, treat your pilot skill value as zero, one cost. Yeah, and I mean, so this, this is upgrade. This is the kind of card, especially way back in the day, when you see it for the first time, and it's like. <laughs> I'm confused. Why, why I, would you ever want this? I keep paying for all this pilot skill. But the crazy part is that zero pilot skill means that you can block. And more yeah. importantly than anything, it means you can drop your bombs before you move. Or yeah. before anyone moves. Yeah. So if you can get yeah. in a position where dropping the... Like, all right, I'm at seven. I'm going to drop down to zero so that I can move. And then all of your ships have to deal with this thing. This thing in the middle of the board, yeah. Yeah. That's why you do it. Yeah. That's why you do that's it. A, that's drop a cool use of an upgrade. It makes sense. And that's why they have the systems upgrade. That's why you get the card. It makes all the sense. This is the card. Actually, munitions is limited. We talked about this one in uh, the other unboxing, the K-Wing, I believe. When you equip this card, place one ordnance token on each equipped torpedo, missile, and bomb. Good. And then you can discard the token instead of the card. So basically, you get two uses out of your Any of the discarded your slots. Yep. Yeah. I mean, yes. Yeah, I don't know how you run the Type Punisher without running that. Card, if, if you have anything on him that discards, yeah, it's like you pay two for an extra. You pay two for an extra. So I mean, if you're paying three and three for just two different things. I, well, you're like, gaining. I mean, let's put it this way: like the the flechette torpedoes here, or even the plasma torpedoes that you have over there, or any number of missiles, they're like three cost, two cost, even four cost cards sometimes. Yep. And I'm paying two to get another copy of that card. So another copy of every card. It, it could be like. I could be getting like 12 to 13 points for two points. Yeah. Yeah, like the math is too good there. Now, are bombs and missiles strong enough for even with that math to be worth <laughs> running? It's like, we're going to have to see. We'll have to decide. I, I sure hope so. Uh, let's talk about <laughs> if the they're not, then they're way off. <laughs> Flechette torpedoes, uh, old standby, two cost, three attack, two to three range, attack and target lock. You discard the card and the target lock to perform it. And after you perform it, the defender receives one stress if its hull is four or lower. So there you have it. All right, full shit. Not uh, not lighting the world on fire like the art would tell you. It hasn't it is, been but... in a while. Maybe does this change things? <laughs> uh, we're, we're uncertain. We're uncertain. <laughs> plasma torpedoes. This is a four attack, two to three range, three cost uh, plasma torpedo. This is in the torpedo slot. It's an attack, and you have to have a target lock on the target. You spin, spin, the target lock. spin your target lock and discard the card. Uh, to perform this attack, if it hits after dealing damage, remove the shield token from the defender. Another kind of weird one. You know, you're getting four attack dice on this, and sometimes you're just going to knock one to two shields off of the thing that has one to two shields, and, and it's not going to do anything. Really anything. But, if but it, you wouldn't shoot it at that thing, yeah. right? I mean, that's the idea. Or maybe you would. Maybe you would. Range three, maybe no bonus, want it. four dice. It, it, it's an interesting... I mean, removing the shields... Does, that, does it say after resolving, the, after dealing damage? Yeah. That's a bummer, man, because... <sighs> Why, why wasn't it the other way? It'd be too good. It would not be too good. You're right. You're right. It, it wouldn't would not be, too, be good. too good. You, you plasma torpedoes, remove a shield, and then do your damage. Yeah. What? I think that would have been way good. I mean, I'm, I'm not I'm, yeah, Look armchair you quarterback in here. Uh, advanced homing missiles, three attack, only at two range, attack and a target lock. Discard this card to perform the attack. Don't have to discard the target lock. Important. It's three points, and if it hits, deal one face up damage card to the defender, then cancel all dice results. So basically, you're rolling, and if you hit, you 
dealer crit right right up there. Right through the through. shields and everything. Right through the shields. And, and shields so, and you know, I was I was lukewarm on this card mm -hmm. in the K-Wing, but I'm going to reverse my stance. Okay. I'm in. <laughs> I think, I'm ready. I think a direct Controversy. Crit, uh, I'm, I'm arguing with myself. All right, Zach from previous video. Uh, a, direct, a direct critical could... I like it a lot. Like, I'll take a chance, especially given some of these, these ships. Mm -hmm. I will take a chance to just directly critical, whisper for death, soon tier for maybe a double damage and you just get it. Or, I think most importantly, I'm picturing like a Falcon. Dude, like, if you knock if all I can just nuke off, all your upgrades off that the, Falcon. It, I mm. mean, it's literally like the end. Like, mm -hmm. that's it. I mean, the, the, the thing is over. I, you know what? I'm particularly... Or like Corrin Horn, right? He yeah. recovers shields. He doesn't recover whole. So yeah. like... Oh, I'm just gonna put a, a critical through. That's true, and and if you have the munitions, you can do this twice. So like maybe you have two guys with this. <laughs> I'm, I'm telling you, it's pretty easy well, I mean, actually yeah, to start. Forcing I mean, you could through. run two of these on the same ship mm -hmm. with oh, munitions. Usually. Now you have four. You got four of them. Yeah, four I can of these kill guys. Some stuff. You know what I mean? I can, but you still have to hit with three dice. You know what I mean? And it's only arranged to you, and it's not easy hitting with three attack dice anymore. It's just hard. You do have a target lock. You do have a target lock. Yeah, mm -hmm. but it's hard. It's hard. Mm -hmm. I'm just saying, the, I'm, I'm at least less... You're turning around. I'm less lukewarm on the direct critical. I wish it were two points. I wish it were uh, two Cluster points. mines. Let's talk about this. I've been playing with these all, all unboxing. This is yeah, how a, do they new, work? a new thing. Check these out, guys. So, they basically, they fit together. You, you got three expect. bombs there. You can do them however you want. Whichever side you want. Uh, the, one, one way to fix bombs is when you drop one, you just get more bombs. As many as you want. Cluster mines. Action. Discard this card to drop one cluster mine token set. And it is in the bomb slot, and it's four points. Uh, when a ship's base or maneuver template overlaps a cluster mine token, that token detonates. Is that, what that does, does that do? Cluster mine token. When one of these bomb tokens detonates, the ship that moved through or overlapped that token rolls two attack dice and suffers all damage, not criticals. Uh, then discard that token. Okay. So like it can so you hit drop this that one. bomb. They come out. Boom. Well, what if they overlap too? Then. Both? Both, baby. Both. So then you're getting two two dice, two dice. And remember, this is... No evades, no nothing. No evades, no nothing. That's... that, Dude, the, <laughs> this is going to be really strong. I mean, We're it, seeing so much hate for these the, elite pilots, the, man. The thing about that is, like, it, it's such a wide... It's like the Connor net, right? It's big enough it's that so people big. could land on it. And that's that's part of the problem with some of the other bombs is, like, not only are they maybe... You spend points, discard a card, and use some an action or whatever to get rid of the bomb. But then, like, it's so small that, like... The odds of them actually hitting it are not super high. It does happen. Uh, but like with this, it's like not only could it, a ship hit it, a ship could hit multiple of it, a ship, two ships could hit it, three ships could hit it, and it's wide enough that like it could be a problem. Let's, let me just paint a picture here. Let's just assume that uh, you, know, you have this kind of a setup with our, our guy that can shoot him first. All right, so he and then pops he, him out the front. He pops him out the front, and then, then he can he barrel, barrel roll over rolls here. Like here. And then he turns. Yeah, and he, so like, like this... This is super cool, just that you can do this. Like, throwing them out in front is actually way more significant than I thought. Because you think about how the game goes, right? You have this kind of approach phase, and people are coming in, and it, it kind of gets weird. You kind of got to cross in weird ways to get these bombs to hit. But this guy can literally just fly up in your face. Straight up in you. Yeah. And then the next time, it's like, okay, I'm going to go to zero, and then, you know, and that's what, like, move and the front and back, like, that, what makes that cool is that, let's say we're approaching each other. I can just come straight at you. Yeah, like, yeah, just, it's like, ah. And there they are. And it's like, well, if you go faster, you're gonna. I can pop them out the back. And if you go slow, yeah. I can just put them out. Now, the is there is there just an increased level of of kind of hatred for these action economy elite ships, like the whispers and the Sinter Fells and these kinds of guys? Because like this is all. There's so many things that we're seeing in Wave Seven that is basically countering this idea that you have a ship stacked up with a thousand tokens that can't really be damaged. And instead, it's like, well, we're going to do damage outside of that phase completely. They don't, they're not going to have any actions. Or, you know, we're going to shoot them twice with these twin laser turrets, those kinds of things. Check out Theorist's blog, by the way. Tale of Two Metas. Yep. Really it's, good. It's incredible. Uh, so, I mean, I don't know. I, I think it's healthy because you have these elites that are just super good, right? It's across the board. You have yeah. Corrin well, we've seen them in the game forever, whisper. so it's fair and to And it's really that. shifted the meta into this, like, you run two ships. Yeah. Or, like, maybe three. Uh, but, like, is that really what you want? Is yeah. a bunch of two or three ship lists like? Do we want Tie Swarm back? Do yeah. we want like? And I think we do. I, and it's kind of just a. We've all been in those games. If you, if you play a decent number of games, you've been in that game where you get down to the end and you're one on one with one of those elites, and it's just like it's troubling. Yeah, I've been there. But I think more than anything with this, it's just a, let's try to make bombs 
something we see more often. And, and, and I feel like this solves both problems. This screws with the swarm, and it screws with the elite guys. Too. This is hilarious. For so a swarm. it's really good. Them tie fighters can go down. They, yeah, they, that's like one bomb can just take one out. <laughs> see ya. Really funny. All right. Finally, we have, not finally, the Ion Almost Bombs. Uh, when you reveal your maneuver dial, you may discard it to drop an Ion Bomb token, and when it detonates, uh, it's at the end of the activation phase. Standard two-cost bomb. Zach, hit me. When this bomb token detonates, each ship at range one of the token receives two Ion Tokens. Then you discard the token. So that's any damage. At range one, though, any <laughs> ship at range one, like that's... Each ship at range one. That's not even, you didn't overlap the token, you didn't run over, it's like any ship at range one... Gets gets two ion tokens, yep. and that's really significant. Yeah, because it hits big ships, and yep. like I mentioned this in the K wing unboxing as well. But at the moment, uh, ion tokens have a lower uh, value to me than they did in, in years past. Certainly, certainly, just because you have so many three hundred and sixty arcs, whether it's the turret on smaller ships or it's literally turrets on like Dash or Han or Decimator, and so. Ioning those ships, unless you're ioning them straight off the board, yeah, does it just doesn't and, really have? And even a single ion token doesn't do anything. They have to have two anyway on the big so, ones. Yeah, but on the like, big ones. But it, it just, I don't know. I don't know how valuable. Get it doesn't do damage. How valuable right. just ioning someone actually right. is. If if that were super valuable, we'd see a lot more Y wings. I but I also still think it's a great way to set up future bombs. That's correct. I mean, you're guaranteed that they're that's, running. That's really probably things. what it's about, right? Yeah. So I mean, if you get you can get a big ship base on all three of these. And yeah. that's pretty cool. Like that, that that's kind of funny. I didn't think about that. Would be a problem. It's like, oh, here's six damage. <laughs> uh, what else we got? Well, we have something important. Okay. You get two of them, and uh, I'll let you read if them. If you get two of them, they're usually pretty important. It's a modification. A one cost modification for ties only. Wow, that's a big deal. That's ties. All, all the ties. ties. All the ties. <laughs> you may yeah, treat. John likes that one. You may treat all <laughs> bank maneuvers, that is left or right, as green maneuvers. Okay, tell me. <laughs> tell me. Uh, regale me. What, what, what? All right, so here's, here's what this does. Okay. It lets you treat all your banks. I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, I've no, never really just, run TIE Fighter. So, yes, I don't know. Are you getting stressed all the time or what? It's, I think it's just cool to see a modification that says TIE only because yeah. it's overarching on all the TIE Fighters, which is really cool. Uh, but this is like... Just extra green for one point, it's a modification. A lot of times, you don't have like you don't want to invest a lot of points in an academy pilot, right? Right, but like extra greens can actually be very relevant because the, the so you have swarm, they like to K turn a lot together at some point to flip around and rinse and repeat, yeah. Uh, but even ships like Santia, right? All of his banks becoming green is actually super important because normally he gets stressed from his push to the limit, uh, and then you're just expecting certain maneuvers out of him, right? Right. But this immediately just ups what you're capable of doing. And I think you look at uh, even the this the guy, Punisher. the Punisher, and that just it adds four green maneuvers to his dial. Yeah, that's pretty. It's pretty sweet. I get uh, that. And so I, there's there's like a rebel stress list that's actually been pretty successful online, and they just load you up with stress, right? So there's only so many stress you can get rid of in a single turn, as sure. in one. But uh, I think it's really handy. I, I don't know. It's it's not like it's like the twin laser turret where it's game changing. Yeah. But as a one point modification, you have six points left and you have six TIE fighters inside. Yeah. I mean, if I had six points, what is that? Three academy pilots? <laughs> right? Half of one. Half of an academy pilot. Am I right? Pilot. Am I right? All right, so, so twin iron engine, Mark II. So a little TIE upgrade, one point. That's just a little thing. Uh, pretty. Pretty okay. What do we think about the Punisher here? What's what's the what's the takeaway? Is this just the the bomber better? better is it bomber? is it going to have the same fate as that ship? I ha mean, have any of the have any of the really the defenders the bombers have any of them really? No, they haven't really done no. it, have they? No. And I mean, the reality though is like you have a lot of ships that have torpedoes or bombs or missiles, and those slots are really just kind of. Uh, from the, the onset of the game, a little bit over costed. Yeah. Where they don't, they don't do. They just haven't brought the juice. Yeah, they, they're not consistent enough, which yeah. is the problem because you have so many other things that have come out that are way more consistent. Yeah. Um, and I think you have something like th the cards in here in this whole wave might make those ships better, the old yeah. ships, which is which is I think that's the hope. Right? Yeah, because the get, intent again, extra munitions is just money. Like, yeah. You pay two points, even if you're running eight points worth of missiles or bombs or whatever. That's a basically a six point. You get six points. Six point discount. Yeah. Like, 
That's pretty significant. Okay. Yeah, definitely. So uh, I'm hoping to see more bombs. And it, it, hopefully after this wave, if they focus on bombs like they haven't, we don't see bombs, then... Well, just remember, guys, it's up to you. You run, run the bombs. Just run the bombs. Just yeah. run the bombs and <laughs> let's change things. Good. You know what I mean? Let's change things. Run these cluster bombs. These guys are awesome. This has been the Thai Punisher. Thank you guys for watching uh, our unboxing here. We have this ship for sale in our store. That's how we keep doing what we're doing. And uh, we really appreciate all your guys' views and business and everything you do for us. So uh, that's that's X-Wing. Wave 7. Wave 7. It's game changing. It's happened. It's here. And when, do we know when Wave 7 is expected ultimately? In the future. In the future. I guess you're, who knows when you guys are watching this video. So it's kind of yeah. hard to say. Uh, we don't know. It's close to... We're just back from Gen Con. Uh, and it, it could be any time in the next two weeks. But it could also be... Yeah, we got our eyes open. We're checking the mailbox every day. And that upcoming page. Uh, keep watching, guys. <laughs> Subscribe if you like what we're doing, and uh, we'll see you guys later. Thanks see for watching. You.